Hey, hope everyone's having a good Monday morning. Well, Swiss cheese protection. <laughs> That's what I'm going to show you at the end. But first, let's get into a bit of news, what's going on. So a few questions that we'll go over. Is it safe or smart to travel? Um, she'll answer those, the A, Bs, and Cs. But also, another question that they'll answer is, if fully V'd, but someone I live with has the C, do I need to avoid that person in my home? Let's take a listen to those clips. So we heard the CDC revise their travel guidelines just recently to address people who have been fully vaccinated because they're trying to take these steps. If you've been fully vaccinated, it's been over two weeks, then you can start doing A, B, or C. I didn't mean that. Uh, coincidence there a b and c <laughs> but the bottom line is according to the new cdc guidelines if you have been fully vaccinated it is safe to fly safer relatively low risk however if you have not been vaccinated they are still advising against all non-essential travel yeah. just because you've been fully vaccinated does not give you a green light to be up close and personal with someone in your household who is confirmed to have covid 19. remember 90% effective, 95% effective is not 100% effective. So yes, unfortunately, if you're in this situation, you do need to isolate that person with COVID-19 as we did before and keep your distance. That person with COVID should have a mask on in the house. If you're in this situation, you do need to isolate that person with COVID-19 as we did before and keep your distance. That person with COVID should have a mask on in the house. So no traveling still. I didn't plan on it anyway. I'm sure you didn't either. But, you know, we've already seen you have to wear them in shopping malls. You have to, when you're grocery shopping, people are wearing them outdoors while driving, while biking. I mean, come on, and now they want you to wear them in the house. Unbelievable. I, I just don't understand who's going to follow this. But to each his own. I'm going to live the way I've always lived. But let's listen to more because then she shares about surfaces. Let's listen. The virus be passed through the food. Is this your question? It's not, but I am very curious to hear this one. So the good news here is there is no evidence that this is a concern. Remember, this is a respiratory virus. The air is the major route of transmission. Even surface contact not thought to play a major role. And then this is a respiratory virus. The air is the major route of transmission. Even surface contact not thought to play a major role. And then, then we have to remember in terms of food and potential for foodborne illness, stomach acid and cooking temperature kills a lot of pathogens. So don't worry about takeout with respect to COVID. So just keep eating that fast food, but surfaces now are clean. Huh? Wasn't it just a few months ago they said something just the opposite? We're being told to keep things clean be it through direct contact or through the air, traces of coronavirus can be transferred to the objects we touch and in turn, transferred to us. To keep that from transferred to us. To keep that from happening, we've come up with innovative ways to avoid having to touch things and to keep surfaces clean. Right, I, I must remember wrong, but I don't even understand then why tape these off, right? I mean, you're outdoors, even the ones in the malls. Ugh, but anyway, but there's a drop in supply and demand. Oh my goodness. And it's 88%. What do you think? My opinion, they just want people to want it more. And that's basically what it is because there's still lines out there. People lining up for a green pass in Copenhagen. I'll give you the link, um, but this lady's clearly seeing the truth in all of this and is shocked that others are not and not remembering <laughs> just several years ago I mean all it takes is what one or two generations and then people forget oh and even here morning papers report that the digital V certificate could be introduced into Finland May that's next month that's just in a few weeks the Finnish government has been excited about the C passport yeah, they've already gotten a video. I already showed the short clip that was there. And they're so excited about cleaning with the robot cleaner. Yeah, let's just take more jobs away from people. 
And of course, yeah, we had the death of Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. Uh, but many of us here know exactly who he is. I mean, the medals they give each other and, and whatever. He was the last in line, if I remember correctly. I'll go over that. But yeah, he was a Royal Society, formerly known as the Royal Society of London for Improving Natural Knowledge and a member of the Freemasons Lodge. Hmm. Really, was he also a Rotary member and a Toronto Club member? Have, uh, there was so many others countless countless others those ones just stood out to me but you can take a look for yourself do your own research prince andrew his father of greece and denmark and princess alice of battenberg were his parents yeah well just to get you to understand all his honors as well just pause that for a minute and take a look and a few of them should stand out to you i don't want to say the country name because apparently i'll get this taken down so enough said but just to understand his siblings there they are they are hesses and land you know hesses of many areas so he was last in line but so he got then given probably you know how they have their marriage they probably proposed her to him and he accepted and then she's queen hey we know how it goes but anyway his sister yeah the duke uh, Grand Duke Donatus of Hesse. Well, I kind of did a short video on a, on a Hesse, wondering if they were still the Hesse over this country on my second channel. I'll add the link if you're interested. Enough said. We know exactly who they are. But surprising, the Who was thanking Dr. Seth Berkeley just yesterday. Yeah, and what did he have to say? I had to cover up most of the picture because it was so whitewashed all behind him. But he spoke of solidarity, sharing surplus, and what will 2022 bring? Well, new Vs and probably booster doses. Oh, good for those who took the V. You're going to keep getting booster shots. And um, Gavi will be seeking for at least another $2 billion in funds at the AMC next week, he was saying. But notice also the numer numbers that they chose there, but enough said, we already know. But also in a video in the Rockefellers, I just, I'm not gonna show you this video, but they're talking about the new normal and the new future, and you're gonna have to choose between one of those and the numbers they use in the lightning. <laughs> Just hilarious. But the last one is the one I really wanted to share. So let's take a look together. Let's just pause it for a second so we don't get it taken. I nearly fell off my chair when I saw this. Oh my goodness. You have to laugh. You really, really do. Because otherwise, it, there's nothing else to do. But this is what I thought. Here we go. So, cheese. 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 Butter. Spread it on the bread. Bollocks. Cheese. 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 Grand bread. So let's just thank the Rockefellers for the good laugh this Monday morning. <laughs> Cheese. All right, let's have a great day. Stay positive and uh, just do whatever you've been doing all along. See family, friends, and yes, good hygiene is good. It always has been, but you know, please. <laughs> all right. Have a good day, guys.